I am back with another analysis, y'all. And this time, it's Ricky Dillard and New G. And y'all know they sing down, so don't go nowhere. I miss y'all. And I thank y'all for sticking by me, even though I wasn't posted for a long time. But listen, life has been happening. Good stuff, but still just life. So I had to take a step back, get some stuff together, but I'm back with more content. And I am super excited to do this next group of singers, y'all. I've known about this group and this director my entire life. I think one of the first songs I've learned of theirs was, um, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. That was the song that introduced me to this group. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan. And I have very close roots with this group. This is Ricky Dillard and the New Generation Chorale otherwise known as New G. My close roots not only come from me listening to them growing up, but because I actually was a member at one point. For seven years, I was a member of New G. I was singing alto, y'all. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of me singing alto in the choir. So this is from the recording in DC, um, us singing I Survived It, okay? So let's take a look. y'all there I go ain't that crazy I had a great time in the choir I met so many great people I miss them all dearly but yeah I was a member for seven straight years so that was kind of fun right little tidbit that you didn't know about me but anyway so this new song from the latest project is called since he came and so I'm looking at y'all requests and I know that you guys wanted to see this song and hear me analyze this song so without further ado let's get right into the video y'all here's Ricky Dillard and Muji singing since he came Snap your finger like this if you don't mind. So many things God has brought us out of. So many things he's brought us through. But tonight we stand before you with a new testimony. And we say, love the beginning of this song. So I want to talk about that whole stanza, those two lines, those two verses right there. So they said, a wonderful. So it's almost a sense of a smile or a bright spread vowel right there. So it's not a wonderful, a wonderful. There's almost a sense of lightness to it. A wonderful. Then that change, change. There's a glissando, it's like glissando when they are a slide up. And then there's a dramaticism to the migration of the vowels and change, or the word, the, the phonemes from change. So they said, a wonderful change, change. There's almost a pull to it that the choir is kind of doing. So they had a little slide along with a little pull of the word, if you will, that change has come over me. And it's all very light, head voice, falsetto, what do you want to call it? They're all very light in their approach. All the alto sopranos are singing this part. Has come over me. There's almost a sense of breathiness to it too. There's a sense of breathiness and lightness and brightness to it. So it's not, has come over me, has come over me. Okay, so that's how they kind of did that. It's very light, very airy. Got a little attitude to it too. That was good. One. Wonderful. Change has come over me. out of that transition that a oh, wonderful has come over me it's a shift in how they sing it goes from light heady to chest things i used to do i don't do no more ah! and so they kind of just punch it right there and this song is such a statement um it's a good song for like a concert a good church service because it has such a powerful statement in the musicality and in the message honestly so they said things i used to do 
all chest voice, right in the front, punching you in the face with the sound almost, you know. I don't do no more. And so then they hit a glottal onset that, oh, it's a glottal onset. Glottal onsets in and of themselves are not bad. It's just how the voice starts. In another video, I talked about how to understand a glottal onset. So I'm gonna talk about it real quick in this one too. So say the word apple, say the word orange, say the word elephant. So all those words start with a vowel, right? So if I were to say ferret, that starts with the F, a consonant. But if I say, you know, eagle, that starts with the E, which is a vowel. So every word almost that starts with a vowel is a glottal onset in and of itself. So if I'm saying, you know, evaluate, I'm not hurting myself for saying evaluate. You know, people get such a negative connotation to glottal onsets, but we use them in English all the time. So glottal onsets in and of themselves are not bad. It's when you start to over push them and when you overdo them and kind of overcompensate for them is when it become a bad problem or kind of, they kind of miss vocal folds. But if you support it right, a lot of onsets, even of this magnitude, are great. Like that O that they did, it just kind of like, you know, kind of hit you right there. And so then as a result, it, it's that statement that I'm talking about, that strong statement that most choirs try to make when they sing. That kind of stuff is not easy to do. It takes a trained singer and a gifted singer to do the kind of stuff and I hurt themselves. And a singer who's willing to take a risk and be loud and out there. You can't be timid with a song like this. You cannot be timid and laid back. You know, you gotta punch that thing as soon as it comes out on this part, okay? This is really, really, really good. I love it. So I also want to take note of how they're pronouncing their words. So their words are very percussive. This song is kind of percussive in essence. And so you almost have to overemphasize the consonants. I know a lot of times I'll say clean consonants over hard consonants. But in this case, because of the type of song and in a choir setting, hard consonants here do wonders for the song. You almost want to say a little more hard in your approach with the consonants to keep the energy up and to kind of keep the percussiveness of the song and the musicality up. Because we get a group of singers and they all start to be lazy in their consonants and their pronunciation. The words get muddled and muddy, okay? And so, you know, of course, with New G, I remember being under his wing and being taught to say every word, be very intentional about how you sing each and everything. I mean, we will go over stuff to the point where we had to fine tune it. And it was great because it helped me learn how to be a very intentional singer, not just going up to the mic or going up to the choir stand and just kind of just whatever. How do I finesse this song? How did the composer want this song? Or how does the director want this song to be sung? Because I could sing the notes of the song and it would sound totally different than if I was to sing the song the way they are singing it. It's a totally different song because I'm approaching it with intentionality and how I'm presenting, evoking, emoting, finessing sing the song, okay? So take note of that as you learn songs like this and teach these songs, okay? One more time, here we go. So they came from big, 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 big. I'm not the same. I want to fall. Okay? So they went from big, 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 big back to small head voice falsetto singing, okay? So... That takes skill too. So if you notice their vibrato even on with a little flip in there with the voice, change. So the vibrato is set in certain places too. He was very intentional with that, setting the vibrato in certain places and having different magnitudes of vibrato. Um, and so when the authors come in, wonderful change has come over me. It's almost a billow. And then when the tenors come in, wonderful change. So every time the vibrato comes in, it's intentional. It's not just wobble, wobble, wobble the moment you sing. That's another part of finessing the song and being mindful of how you shape the song and being intentional with the song. That's what this is about right here, okay? Really good. Yeah.
So if you notice the word same, they're not really saying, I'm not the same. They're a little more, I'm not the same. So it's a little longer. There's a little pucker some of them are doing, but it's more longer and warmer versus, I'm not the same, same. And that pucker, that gathering of the mouth or the longness of the word is bringing the sound a little more together and warming it up, making it a little more dark, which is what he kind of likes, what the choir kind of sings. They kind of make things a little more dark. In certain points of certain songs, not entirely, but here, they instead of saying same, they're saying same, same, okay? For the record, when the director say clap, you clap. And don't not clap and don't stop clapping after the first two lines he tell you to clap. I mean, it looks so good. As you can see, when the choir is right there, they kind of in there right there, and everybody's hype, everybody has the same level of energy. That makes the presentation of the song so much more magical, if you really want to call it that, or just that much more inviting, that much more grabbing, because the energy is there, because the audience is feeding off for you. So if the audience is looking at y'all, and y'all kind of like, a great change, they're not going to believe it. They're not going to get into it. But if y'all just make that statement and punch that stuff, the audience is going to grab right on in and stand up like they all doing out in the audience right there. They're gonna stand up and get with you the whole time. I promise you that. Oh, put your hand on it. So Sopranos. They're biting into that sound, but their chest voice, full belt in that thing, ain't not a head voice in that choir at that point. Everybody's biting right into that sound and biting into the pronunciation. I'm not the same. Instead of saying, I'm not the same. No, I'm not the same. And that mouth is open. They're not scared. They're not timid. They're going for it. That's what you have to do when you finesse these songs. Go for it. Go for it. Same thing with the altos. Change, change, everything's changed. So mouth is open. They're a little more darker in their approach because they're lower voices and stuff like that. But still, their mouth is open. They're taking risks. They're going for it, biting into that sound. Ah, they just going for it. Did you see the tenor's mouth? He's made a change. Everybody's biting. There's no haphazardness with this song. Everybody into it, okay? That's good. So they're the vibratos at the beginning of the word change. A great change, great change. Instead of great change, nope, great change. They're starting right at the beginning of that word change, okay? Watch the director. <laughs> 
watch that director because if he come back and point at you, y'all can't come halfway in. The Sopranos was looking. We were trained to look. We had to honestly be looking at him the whole time because things can change. You know, the spirit can move differently or things can go wrong, whatever the case may be. So you had to make sure you're keeping eyes on the director the whole time because you see they came right on in. They were looking the whole time. You're trained to do that. You can't just look around and start doing whatever and he can point at you to come back in and you know come back in. You're losing the magic of the finesse of the song. You gotta know when to come back in and watch that director. say this to support singing of this magnitude this belting this high energy you have to have support in the breath and body you cannot just get up there and just think i'm gonna just throw this thing or i'm gonna just get up there and hope for the best no 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 you need to know that you can support what's going on because not only do you have to sing with this high energy but you also have to make sure you can support what's going on because if you don't support it it's not going to be as powerful and as consistent as you want it to be because you six minutes into this song you'll be tired because you didn't support it the right way. So when you're belting and things like that, make sure you're using them abs, back muscles, all the respiratory muscles that you can use, including your diaphragm, to support what's going on so that you can belt with efficiency. I won't say ease because belting, though it can be efficient and feel easy, it's not easy to do and to sustain this long a period of time. So I won't say the word easy with belting, but it should feel easier and we're more efficient to belt, okay? So as you're doing this type of singing, make sure you have your right support and not just going up there screaming because screaming and singing are two different things. Belting, in essence, is controlled yelling. The control part of the definition is the breath and body, is the resonance, it's all these things that have to do with singing, not just getting up there and screaming and making noise. They're not screaming making noise, they are singing. And they're singing with high energy, high belt, you know, in a lot of churches, a lot of, you know, black churches, we sing like this. And so, you know, maybe not be this good all the time, but we sing like this, you know, so making sure that you support the right way is essential to have longevity, to have consistency and to have energy when singing this type of music. Yes, sir. That song is so fun. I love that song. One of my favorite songs from that project. So please continue submitting your requests. I'm seeing them. It just takes a little while to get to them in the tape and things like that, but I'm seeing your requests and I'm taking note of everything you guys are saying. And I got some great plans for this channel later on in the year, in the fall, once things start to settle down a little bit. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button down below and click the alert button next to it so you know when next video is posted, which will be soon, I promise. As I always say, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, above everything you do with your own voice, be vocally you. All right, y'all, until next time.